North Korea warns U.S. of powerful response to drills with South. North Korea's foreign minister criticized the United States for expanding joint military exercises with South Korea, that it claimed are practice for potential invasion, and it warned Tuesday of more powerful follow-ups measure and respond. The statement from the ministry came as the U.S. and South Korea conduct aerial drills involving more than 200 warplanes, including their advanced F-35 fire jet. As they step up their defense posture in the face of North Korea increased weapon testing and growing nuclear threats, North Korea has ramped up its weapon demonstration for a record pace this year, launching more than 40 ballistic missiles, including developmental, intercontinental ballistic missile and an intermediate-range missile fire over Japan. The North was punctuated those tests with an escalator nuclear doctrine and an authorized primitive nuclear attack in loosely defined crisis situation. The U.S. and the South Korea have resumed large-scale military drills this year after downsizing or suspending them in past years as part of effort to create diplomatic space with Pyongyang and because of the pandemic, the United States and South Korea Villegan Storm's Air Force drill, which are to continue throughout Friday, came after South Korea completed its annual 12-day Hongguk field exercises that officials say also involve an unspecific number of American troops. North Korea's latest statement came just day after the country fired two short-range ballistic missiles into the sea, extending a barrage of launch since the late September. Some of those launches have been described by the North as simulated nuclear attack on South Korea and U.S. target. North Korea has said its testing activities are meant as a warning amid the joint military drills, but some experts say Pyongyang has also used the drill as a chance to test new weapon system, boost its nuclear capability, and increase its leverage in future dealings with Washington and Seoul. In comments attributed to an unidentified spokesperson, the North Korean Foreign Ministry statement said the military drills exposed the United States as the chief culprits in destroying peace and security. It said the North was ready to take all necessary measures to defend against outside military threats. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.